Today we're going to have a look at the Ignite Cloud File Server. The Cloud File Server provides us storage in the cloud, a local, uh, along with what we call local cloud or hybrid cloud, and also the ability to do FTP services. Now what we mean by a hybrid cloud is we are able to store information uh, locally in the office via an AS drive or we can store it on our local computer or PC which we'll also have a look in a moment. If we have a look at the NAS drive idea, if we use the ready NAS um, from Netgear, then the ready NAS devices come ready to support the plugins uh, for the integration between um, Ignite and the local storage device. So we recommend looking at Netgear ready NAS for that. Now going back to the file server itself. You can see um, I'm currently looking at the file server through my browser. Um, the file server has two areas. One we call shared or public and the other is private. So for each user in your office they will get a private area and then we're able to define a folder structure and then for each folder we're able to place specific security on it so certain people can have access to that folder whether it's um, editor, viewer or given full rights to read, write and delete. Groups can also be used so for example if we have a look at uh, this particular folder you'll see that we've got a group arrangement set up where we've got uh, the Singapore staff, the administrators and also the company directors all having access to that folder. Now because this is cloud-based the folders themselves can also be shared with external parties such as uh, customers etc. If we have a look at some documents say in here you'll see that we've got various uh, mixed of PDF Excel files here we can sort this by date for example um, or any other way you want we've got the ability to then uh, preview, move these documents around, preview them online, download them or what's very useful is the ability to also send a link to a customer or some other third party where they can download it. The system can notify me when they've opened it, I can password protect it um, and, and, and I can also uh, set uh, the number of um, days that it's available. For example, here I've got never expires, but I could set it that it expires by the end of the month. They have to download it, and that's it. So um, this is a very secure way to also share folders with third parties where email is not appropriate to be distributing the docu documents in that fashion. Now another area that we work with is uh, the ability just to use Explorer. So here I am here. Uh, on the left here you can see that I'm just using my Explorer um, and I've got the same approach here where I've got a shared folder I've got my same set of folders here that I had up here so what I'm now doing is instead of looking at our cloud file server through my browser I'm looking at it through Explorer on my hard drive and I've got exactly the same access to subfolders and folders etc from here and then if required I can simply open any of these documents sort them Word, Excel etc, uh, PDF files so any of these can be just double click open the file as if that file server was sitting in your office no, no different whatsoever so the system is very quick and efficient and you've got access to thousands of files even though you're not even in the office. So when you're out on the traveling or fr from anywhere from home, you've still got access to all documents and information available uh, on your uh, company file server. Now, of course, the main requirement for this would be an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection, then of course you can't make a connection. Now, with your mobile phone, there's an iPhone and an Android applet, so you can certainly access this information on your mobile phone in exactly the same fashion that I've been sharing with you. But also we have something called local cloud. And what local cloud is, it's slightly different than the NAS drive that we talked about before. 
So the NAS drive would be a central device with, say, in your office, uh, on the computer rack, or under someone's desk, for example, and that would be storing files centrally in your office, and people can map a drive to that and share. What I'm showing you here, however, is on my local hard drive. So what I've got here is I've got a folder called Shared. However, this time, instead of seeing all of the office folders, I've only got two. Now, this would be because maybe my hard drive is smaller than the total storage on the cloud, but obviously I don't also want to be able to take hundreds of thousands of files with me if I'm going out of the office on a trip. So what we're able to do is configure using the Ignite Personal Cloud um, functionality. I can come in here and I can uh, configure which folders in the cloud I want to actually replicate down to my hard drive. So if I was going to Malaysia I could in fact select that particular folder and all our Malaysia client folders uh, and files could come down to my hard drive and I'd have them locally so on the plane traveling around seeing customers I've got access to all that information I obviously update them on my hard drive and then they will synchronize so if we have a look at here uh, on the, the home screen here you see the synchronization is just complete so there's no documents that are currently pending synchronization um, and then what we've got is the ability to define here how often the synchronize happens so here you can see I'm doing real-time sync I could set it to say okay do a sync every 15 minutes and then if you just like I said want to check you can go back to your home screen here and that can show you uh, if there's anything synchronizing uh, when the last time the sync was performed and if everything's fine you can also kick off the sync from here and it can just check if everything's working so that's really um, three or four ways we can work with the Ignite Cloud obviously we also support FTP so if you're using FTP client you can push documents up to the cloud through FTP we normally use that method however only in the initial migration phase and then what we can do is either just use your Explorer interface here using local cloud if required and then also using the browser now one of the other advantages of using the browser is it's got like a Google like search here so you can search for any uh, documents that is on your server and because everything's indexed you can quickly find any information you're looking for highlight the documents etc uh, and the words and then of course you can uh, download and open these folders as uh, in files Another function that we like using is if you're a Google Apps user and you use Google Docs, it is possible to, um, let's go into a particular folder for example, uh, let's pick uh, this document folder here, it is possible to insert Google Docs that you uh, have maybe created and then you want to place them directly into a folder along with the rest of the documents in a structured way um, then you're able to do that and you'll see down here uh, let me just sort that by date okay you'll see that now I've got that spreadsheet uh, also sitting in that same folder as my other word PDF and Excel files if I want to I can just then um, open that document directly from this hierarchical folder structure and also from here I can create a new Google Doc and it can ask me do I want to create a presentation a, a spreadsheet etc so fully integrated with uh, the Google platform for the document area and, and this is very very convenient and allows you to share uh, documents without necessarily having Google passwords and all that um, to worry about so Google um, integrates very well and um, is supported by the Ignite framework so once again just in summary the Ignite hybrid cloud provides us storage in the cloud the starting point is 1000 gigabytes or 1T and the price is around eight US dollars per user per month and that
gives us uh, a minimum of five users to kick off with. So uh, please contact us at Cloud Solutions if you have some interest to learn more about uh, Ignite and what this offers you. Thank you.